what you want, what you what you want. Spectre Studios. Play Spirit of the Game. Hey, what's in the box? What's in the box? Hey everybody, Benito here with Jake. All right, and we're pretty damn excited, right? Oh, yeah. So this is, an, of course, you're looking at an Infinity unboxing of Operation Red Veil. And uh, basically looking at our shots because we both got to see this about a week early and we haven't even got a chance to crack it. Yeah, been sitting there <laughs> teasing. <laughs> Oh, badly. So uh, this is cool. So first, uh, a couple things to kind of think about uh, if you're looking at this video and you're kind of wondering what's going on. This is now the second uh, more or less starter box set by Corvus Belly for their game, Infinity. Um, we're huge fans of Infinity, of course, uh, because it's a game that we find is so cinematic and so awesome. Yeah. Going on with that. Real tight rule set and yeah. has, has a, a lot of great moments where you're going, <laughs> yeah. oh! Yeah, so if you watch any of our Infinity videos, we have a great storyline going on with some stuff that has basically been that. And we're looking to add, uh, for me, it'll be increasing the Hakka Salam version for little things like that. But this will bring in a new faction for us, right? Yeah, you know, I only had two, so I figured I, I needed another one. Yeah, yeah. And I, you know, I was like the... Uh, the Eugene. The Eugene. So, yeah. so, it was... I needed something to pull me in all the way, and this did it. This did it right here. Yep. So, yeah, it, it could have been my fourth faction, but uh, <laughs> talking to Jake, I, I wanted him to get up to three. I already had three. So, yeah, it was a great, great thing. And this is the last aspect of this, you know? Great boxes like this, starter boxes, yeah. are great splits between two friends because that gives you an instant army for you to start with, an instant army for me. Both of us can break the models up, go start yep. playing with them. Then we come back and play these scenarios yeah. and, and, into this. So. We're gonna open this up. Uh, I'm gonna. We're gonna kind of. You'll see it through the shooting of, the, of what we have here. Then we'll go back and actually. Uh, you'll see some pictures I'll be posting up as you. Um, I guess some of the shots they'll be flashing as we talk. So be prepared for a lot of that stuff as we get into this part. But overall, um, this one also has the limited edition um, Yon Yon mercenary for pre-ordering. To that, um, really, it's one of those. That's a great little feature to kind of really push the game up forward. Is to get into that and we are a local hobby shop you can see the complex doing this unboxing who are great supporters of us to help us get through a lot of things and you can show up here and say hey guys carry more infinity <laughs> <laughs> so the, uh, the problem with the yon yon is that pre-order figure though is that we're, we're big into fluffer games yeah and you know who hates the yon yons Eugene. Yeah, so, so tough. So, so naturally, Benito is mistaken. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got our tail little box right there looking in. So yeah. nice little rule set. And it's, um, it's done in two languages, the, the flip part of it. Uh, That's what I remember from the yeah. first part. And uh, I'm going to kind of pop this open. This is, not, this is a nice new feature here that was unlike Operation Ice Storm, where they actually have oh, compartmental yeah. trays for a lot of stuff, so this could be a, definitely a strong feature to and go with that. The great thing, like they had in the US Army on the box set and everything, is just getting these tokens and yeah. smoke template, and the little ruler comes in. Really, yeah. it's nice instead of taking out and a big These are like awesome because, again, this is a system that uses a lot of tokens to kind of explain for a lot of things going on and the way you use the, um, the orders to make basic actions for your characters. But you, my friend, have done things with these to make them Yeah, a uh, great little thing you can do to make them a little more durable and easy to pick up off the table because yeah. a little piece of cardboard sometimes can be can hard to get out there. It's, I just went on Amazon and they have these crafting bottle cap stickers that are clear stickers mm -hmm. and you get them, they're the exact same size. <laughs> Go figure. So you just take it off, peel it off the plastic and it has the sticky side on the bottom stick it right on there, yep. and you have these great, more durable tokens. Uh, and so basically you have, you can do basically with that, and again, these are these are great. They're great quality anyways, the printing on these are, are sharp, they yeah. pop right off. The, the, the cool thing is this, I'll show you here, there's a little, there's a little Yon Yon model, so uh, that is for the scenario, if you, if you get this box set later and did not get the limited edition, because there's gonna be a scenario that uses the Yon Yon, and it was the same way with um, the Operation Ice Storm. So we have that, take a look at the book, what we got in the book looks pretty, pretty. Yeah, talking about each of the models. Yeah, nice. 
nice book that has sections talking about you Each know the walls. fluff and beautifully painted. You know how good they are, and then goes into uh, the, the rules for them. You know what what each model can actually do in the game. Pretty much everything you need to get right, right in there. And, and what then, we'll do is we'll then, go uh, missions. They have these cool missions which they we'll do play to uh, get used to the game and to use the figures that they give you. Yeah, it might be a little repetitive, but for us growing channels and trying to what we're going to do, we're going to go again go through the mechanics of um, of Operation uh, Red Veil to go through the tutorial part because if you are new and you did not know about Ice Storm. This might be just a little quick way to kind of yep. go through that and also play the scenarios. All right, we'll go through a little bit of other stuff. So you're going to get two two sets of colored dice, one white and one orange, one for the... Probably uh, the music. greatest thing that they get they have in these boxes <laughs> are the faction dice. <laughs> yeah, now we have a, we have a conspiracy <laughs> yeah. theory. They like, roll better. If you myth. use the dice with the faction they're made for, they roll better. Yeah. I don't have scientific proof. But it's true. <laughs> our, last, our last Operation Ice Storm video kind of proved that these things make armor saves like nobody's business. Like, so you, that's going to be a huge big thing. I just wish that they gave you four instead so you could roll that HMG yeah, yeah. with four faction dice. But, you know, I mean, it's pretty good. You always got to find something around. Yeah, one point, one point, one point. That's good for that. So we have all the models here. Uh, I We're not going to have much time. Where I point to assemble them, get them all up ready and painted. So we'll basically uh, leave that for a thought. But all of our pre individually bagged, so you can kind of see some of the stuff here for what we're getting. So we'll figure out all these and specific models here. And so usually the Corpus Belly Infinity models are yeah so easy to put together. <laughs> <laughs> Not like it. So yeah. I'll, go, I'll go over parts. So what we're getting out of the Hot Islam will be a Merbed. Merbad Tregs, so we're getting a, she got, she's a sniper rifle, I think, in this, yeah. this unit. Uh, the cool thing I've been talking, everyone's been talking about so far on, our, on the internet, we've seen the Heavy Assault Regimental Athos. Yeah, I'm not looking forward He's, to, uh, uh, pretty nasty. Dude, I'm not looking forward to seeing that guy across the table. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm excited because I, I had... Well, yeah, because you're going to be controlling them. <laughs> not only I'm controlling them, but as we all bought from my other models, like... He's the unluckiest dude in the world, so maybe this guy would be way, way more lucky than that. Yeah, he likes to die turn one. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't even know. He looks badass, but he yeah. died like a Well, that's bitch. the problem. He looks so badass, and everybody's like, he needs to yeah. die immediately. Yeah, like big, big heavy weapon fire power going uh, Three Gulam infantry. Uh, I actually have some Gulam infantry, so that gives me a real good uh, set of like, uh, building up for that. So I like that part of it. Uh, the Karadius, so I think we got an infantrator type of guy in that aspect. And the Zionated Intervention Unit. Well, that must be the sneaky guy. So that's pretty cool uh, from that part. Eugene, we're seeing the, the high seen warriors. Yeah, that's the guy he's that the, I like. He's the best guy. Yeah, he's, yeah, he looks good and he is good on the table. Yeah, the table. <laughs> yeah so the big talk with him, uh, some, uh, Carlos was like talking about him. Yeah. Like, this is the, this is the He's got the guy. visor. He's, he's going to be you know, awesome. heavy, heavy armor. He's awesome. the, We'll see. I've had models that have been terror for me to deal with. Uh, Carl has had it for our, our Pan Oceana group. He's always had those um, Swiss guards that are always a pain. So this yeah. guy should be in that same mold there. I hope so. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, one uh, is Young Invincibles Terracotta Soldiers. So, yeah, that's pretty good. Then you get your three uh, Zenshi. Yeah, which so I just saw they got the coming out is the uh, special weapons box for them. So, oh, yeah. So that'll be a good. That'll be awesome to go back. Yeah, um, uh, Tiger Soldiers, so a little bit of jump, jump yeah. capacity there. That's kind of cool. New for you, for that spec, right? Um, no, I have some for, uh, oh, yeah, for the combined, combined army. but I haven't yeah. perfected using it. <laughs> I kind of haven't. I haven't really used them much because yeah. it's a little different mechanic. And I think the biggest draw was the, the, the ninja. ninja. So yeah. That was, that was right. super it's cool. A ninja. Yeah. It's a ninja. Who doesn't love ninjas? All right. Growing up in the 80s, I mean, it's the height of Ninja Mania, so. All right, so we got the next part of this box set is, I'm going to get into this. Much more durable looking plastic than I thought. All right, so you get, this is the fantastic thing about this set, um, and I, so I'm going to really want to cover a featured part of this. You're going to be given, uh, want, if you really are one that has a, a lot more of the cooler maps that are out there from a lot of companies that support this. You can just basically buy, get one of these, turn around, and have the box cart. Boom. Right there. 
Um, so that looks, that looks brilliant for that aspect there. Uh, it's a good selling point for your store, so you get one of these open and you can basically do that. The second part of this is a nice little cool interior spaceship part of this for a market. Um, don't wait too much, like that. Um, to play part of this on. So a lot of the scenarios will be using this side of the map that you basically got with this. And then they come with um, these very flexible that you've seen before, but you just simply fold them up and put it basically together. I don't really kind of go into a lot of that stuff like that. Uh, so this one is different from Operation Ice Storm in the fact that these are much more multi-layered buildings. Yes, they've gotten more complicated with it and made yeah, them so more fancy. <laughs> a little bit more like open bridges that you can see with some of this stuff. There's actually a bridge work. Yeah, uh, the walkway is awesome. And, and these nice little box kind of art little shop like that kind of like things you put around it. So even though we have gone out and really increased our high definition terrain from a lot of our, uh, some of the companies that we have, I feel that this set really adds some nice little dimension that we can add into it. And if you, if you haven't gotten into Infinity before and gotten those buildings, yeah. this is an amazing. Because you have the map, they give, you get all this terrain with it, yeah. you can just jump right into a game. And, and the vibrant it's color. Super easy. I, what I liked about this one right off the bat was the vibrant color that you see in a lot of And, and Lopan's Noodle House. Yeah, you gotta have Lopan's Noodle yeah. House. But yeah, for Eugene, part of it, this really <laughs> does feel like a futuristic, um, Asian yeah, like um, feel and stuff going on. It's a really busy yeah. lot of stuff. So even though you may have, like want to like look for little flaws and details of like, eh, is it right? The color that's popping off off of this oh, yeah. of this terrain is amazing. just amazing. That so you're just gonna be like, hey, you know, hey, I, I, I can't really see too much of it. It's gonna be bright. And we want to get our models nice and colored into this stuff. They can go right into this and, and blend super super well. So. It's saying that we have two Cloud9 shopping areas, two 9NL capsule hotels, two walkways, six service pods, the gaming mat, which is 24 by 34 inches, um, or 60 by 85 centimeters for those that are in the <laughs> European market, so those are not part of it. So you get all that stuff in this as well. I think this is about a, you know, on top of it, they sell it separately after these box sets kind of come out. So if you want to double up the terrain to get to a more proper video, yeah, uh, yeah, pro proper color. size board, um, once you expand to bigger 300 point games, which you know is they'll easily able to do, and which they have yeah. in the book, they have suggested lists on how to take yes the included armies up to 300. Yeah, let's get to, to the next part of that. And that's the one thing I like about this company that um, is really something that I think you should really look into when we're talking about uh, getting into this universe of, of their gaming aspect is you have. You have a company that knows that this is a starter set box. How do you get somebody into this? Yeah. But what do other companies use to do with sometimes the starter sets? Like, well, we want to teach you the game. Those models get used yeah. how often and after you expand yeah. into the, the You're like, okay, there's all this other stuff that's better and <laughs> better enough using it. Right. Yeah. But that's not the way in Infinity. Yeah. Like down to even the Gulam infantry and the Zan Shi that you have, you always, you need, always those need those line troops. Yeah. So you have to put them in there in that part of it. So this set doesn't like you'll maybe move around up from here. When I use the Nomads from Operation Ice Storm, I think pretty much almost 85% of those models continue to get used in the, in the group. Yeah. And I always use the core uh, Aglaceros that are in that set all the time. Like I need them to make the, the, the orders and stuff like that. That's, that's something that was well thought out about this by Corpus Belly as a company. You don't get that many other things. Like, like, like Jake said, you get into it, you start seeing this other stuff. These are the things that work, the synergy and all that stuff like that. So boop, put aside, you move in, yeah. and you're into another game system. That's the way, I mean, that's the way we, we know that. But they haven't done that. So they're saying after this that I should get a Husam operative, a Leela Sharif. That would be a 20 points this army. And the and giant, the giant migrant guard, <laughs> which is huge and stuff like that. Yeah. So, you know, you get that point. With both both of the lists, the expansion lists, they add a tag to them. Yeah. Which, I believe in the new ITS, it's looking like there's going to be a whole mission where you have to bring a tag. So yes. Yeah, they're kind of trying to get the tags more used. It's get, definitely getting yeah. bigger to that. Yeah, they're definitely going to allow that. Let's see if I can find that. I'm missing the... For, for the, amount of, the amount of points in... Uh, okay. The amount of points the tags cost, sometimes they... You just bring a lot of small guys, you can get those orders. Yeah. <laughs> so they've, uh, they've kind of, I think this is with a uh, Goofing Shang is their addition here for another uh, 20 points, and like Guja Squadron uh, and a Warcore, yeah. uh, which is kind of interesting. But that, this guy here, yeah, I've seen some. Yeah, 
he's, he's next on my infinity buy list. So yeah. you might you might because I don't have attack in any other. Might have to come over and airbrush that armor because that's oh, uh, yeah. that's I've seen the airbrush work on that model. It's fantastic. So uh, again, they they tell you you by getting this set, you add those those units later on, which is a little you know not too much more than that for for cost wise. You have a three hundred point competitive tournament. Yep. Um, to walk into like that, they they not they did not shortchange you. They did not sit there and go, ah, oh, maybe you'll use two models out of this, but you need these other two boxes and something else to kind of make this yeah. to make a force work. Uh, nope, this is straight up. They knew what was good. They went through the model range. They knew I had some synergy to each other, and they put all that yeah. together like that. That's this, that's the solid aspect of the of this box game. Yep, definitely and. After you look at it, you're gonna to want to buy more anyway. You, so. Yeah, they know. that's the thing. They know, they, know they have you. Uh, yeah, this, the yeah. world is rich. Yeah. There's a lot of. Other Once you get those figures put together, you get some paint on them. You go, oh man, I want more. They're beautiful. I need to expand. And the last, and I'll, I will point out, these are pewter. Uh, these are pewter figs. So it's still a little dated to what's going on, but it does capture the holds the detail of the models. Yeah, they are fantastically. Uh, they are. In, I mean, I guess there's two ways to go. It's really much more of a a veteran gaming aspect to the models because of the, the thinness of the model, the right amount of gluing they yeah. need. But they have improved their pinning spots for the arms and stuff with socket Yeah, having socket the locations. socket and joints are So your so you super glue will work a little bit more better yeah. than that, but just be a little bit aware. Being pewter, they're a little more, they're some aspect durable, but frail to movement part of it. But a little bit easier to work with in terms of um, removing flash and stuff like that, or plastic. Yeah. Small amount of plastic could be brittle because I've worked with companies that have yeah. also done. You just want to be careful with the swords and stuff. How you store them? Yeah. Because so they'll get a. If okay. they start bending, then if you were bending them back and forth straight, then they end up that's breaking. All, that's so all it takes. Yeah. Get your foam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that works on that. So overall, uh, just like Operation Ice Storm, this is a perfect uh, 10 out of 10 type of set. There's nothing really that you. Can, there's nothing in here that you can't basically not use. The only thing possibly is you will maybe need a longer ruler for weapons because weapons yeah. actually do cover quite a bit of, quite a bit of the board. Uh, but there's a nice movement ruler in this thing from that aspect. The models are great. The terrain is perfect uh, for one of those sets. There's only a couple other companies that I think can really capture that essence, understanding that well enough. But Corpus Belly has done perfect. If you're into yeah. Infinity, you didn't really quite like Panoshan and the Nomads. You think Hakuslam or Eugene are yeah, one of your factions? They've, they've definitely found a formula that works, and they just keep little improvements, little improvements, yep. and it's the best way to get into this game. Yeah. <laughs> and this is definitely yeah. set two of the star of a star set. Rumor is a third one could be on the way from what the development, because they have known how successful these are. Yeah. Uh, these buy out all the time. Oh, all the time. Yeah. so definitely, definitely look for that. Uh, anything else you want to add into that? I guess because we come I'm just thing. ready to start painting this thing. <laughs> yeah. Put it on the table. Yeah, I'll be I'll be home quickly, putting all these items yeah. together and gluing in a, in a heartbeat. So and then we will get we will me and Jake will slow or do another slow scenario run. Yeah, I'm gonna so. get my, I'm gonna get some ninja boots to wear while I'm playing. Oh, <laughs> ninja <laughs> mask. <laughs> uh, we'll kind of on. So we'll start off that first match with the Gulam <laughs> Infantry versus the Zenshi. Uh, so a quick little part, you'll see that as we will go through another tutorial part of it. But if you're eager at this moment when you see this video to see how some of that thing kind of goes, we do have a five part Operation Ice Storm video that goes up and shows you much of the same thing, some of the rule aspect there. So again, you'll, you can see some of the differences as well if you want to like to compare, you all do. Uh, you'll have that aspect there. So uh, again, this is, I'm Benito. I'm Jay. For our Spectre Studios, this is an unboxing of Corvus Belly's Operation Red Veil, and I uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video and saw lots of stuff that you are interested in as us. You can talk about it with us if you go to spectrestudios.us, that's our website, there's a forum there, there's definitely an infinity thread that we've talked about a lot of stuff with us oh, yeah. before, and eager and excited to it. Yeah, a lot, so, of, a lot of deal making, I was uh, yes. this set. Yes, that, that actually <laughs> happened for this actual yeah. set here. Or, or he didn't want it, he wanted the ninja. I wanted it all. Oh, Begging me out of that, we ended up doing it. We did a wise thing when we split this out here and, and, and moving forward with that. So, again, you can join us there on SpectreStudio.us and talk to us. Join our online community, let us know what's going on. Plus, uh, you have joined our Patreon pledging as well, not only yes. as, a, as a member, as a supporter, to become a hero in Infinity. Yep. So, uh, we've got you a little story that you'll see some video about how things have gone with you. So yep, you I played the game. I was the lieutenant of uh, USR, yeah. Argonne Faction, and 
I hid behind a building for the whole game and yep. let the rest of my team do the killing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's actually been a change with you, so you have to check some of the videos, so your story has developed into different things. So, yeah, so interesting part of that. But again, you can be part of that. If you're interested, check out our Patreon pledge for that aspect there. That's a great way to help support us to get some of these games and terrains and help put these videos up and, and put that time in frame there. And I think the last aspect from basically what we have there is. You know, for us, we'll, be, we'll definitely be doing more of this video if you don't want to see the starter scenarios and how they get to play out and learn this game and yeah. go through the set with a friend to see exactly how to go through this. And me and Jacob will go through the five part scenario to you as well. Sound good? Yeah. All right. Can't wait. See ya. Studios playing really good.